anime logic. What the hell? Having no protein, no nutrition, no workouts, but still ending up having a six pack with strength that is so ridiculous that it makes me jealous that this cheat code doesn't exist in the real world. That's simply not possible. Why not, you stupid bastard? Denji was a hungry dog scraping by with pocket change and garbage for meals. But fortunately, he had Puchita, a devil with the ability to turn into a chainsaw. And with this, we discover that Denji is actually the strongest character in the entire series. <laughs> That's right ladies and gentlemen, you might think Denji couldn't possibly be strong due to his lack of intelligence and training, but the truth is mind blowing as it painfully unfolds in 100 chapters of Chainsaw Man Part 1. When Denji's boss betrayed and murdered him, Pachita made a contract to complete each other's dreams as one, which was for Denji to show Pachita a happy life and the meaning of love. Thus, the Chainsaw Man was born. Denji joined the public safety devil hunt under the leadership of the dominatrix Magima, though really it was his only option with his newfound abilities. Partnered with Aki and Power, they fought against the devils of hell in an effort to keep their country and job positions safe. Today, we will be scaling Denji's strength, defense and speed throughout these fights, putting everything into perspective as to why the chainsaw devil is the strongest devil that is feared by all other devils in the history of the world. For example, as a teaser, did you know Denji can travel through dimensions? I have no knowledge of any of this! He one shot the head devil and casually escaped the inescapable space! This is amazing! Okay, I digress. Let's start from the beginning on how this is even possible. Denji's initial transformation right after his contract with Pachita instantly annihilated the zombie devil and his entire army, showing us the immense power up Denji had obtained. Speaking of abilities, he gained blood consumption which can entirely heal practically any deadly injury and recover from death as long as he drinks enough blood. So I'm assuming he received his ball back since you know he sold it for money because his eye came back. He has two balls now. First time was so nice, I had to do it twice. And since zombies are common horror monsters in movies and pop culture, it can be assumed that he is quite powerful. Before this contract, Denji could take on one enemy, which was just a giant tomato. But now, he can take on an army. But this form was just its initial stages, as Denji had only just awoken the chainsaw man within. After power had baited the horny ass Denji to get devoured by the bat devil, Denji completely destroyed him, just because he wanted to grab them boobs. It's extremely evident Denji's strength had grown since the start of the series, as we see him punch the Bat Devil right through a wall. The aftermath destroyed the wall completely, which sent the Bat Devil out of the building with the impact of the strike. This feat making him small building level in physicality alone. The Bat Devil was strong enough to even blackmail the Blood Devil, but Denji had no problem dealing with him. This fight allowed Denji to learn how to contract his chainsaw from his hands at will. At one point, the Bat Devil was even terrified of Denji, shocked that this little puny guy could damage him so much. Denji's strength at this point had reached a level where he literally caught a car mid-air, which he then proceeded to throw back. The average weight of a similar model of that car in 1997, the year Chainsaw Man is set in, would be around 1000 kgs or 2200 pounds. But my guy Denji catches it like a tennis ball. That's really impressive. Whoa. But wait. It doesn't end there. During the International Assassin's arc, Denji literally took on a shit ton of puppets, albeit with the help of power. He is able to pull out chainsaws from under his feet, which gained him another ability, ladies and gentlemen, which was to run on walls. At one point, Denji even sets himself on fire with gasoline. This means his skin and organs were burning at 1026 degrees Celsius, as this is the peak temperature it can burn. But it all meant nothing due to Denji's insane recovery. And whilst being on fire, he was able to win a tug of war, whilst being lunged on by another set of puppets against Santa Claus, who was contracted with the Darkness Devil at the time. Overall, Denji has been able to take 
Pokemon devils that a lot of other characters had problems dealing with. The Bat Devil? No problem. The Eternity Devil? Three days is enough. Dark Santa Claus? Not dark enough. Denji is also seen to be able to cut out rubble whilst fighting against the Bat Devil, which chainsaws are not actually meant to be able to do. Like, which chainsaw do you know in real life that is able to cut through cement? You know what I'm saying? So now we move on to speed. Even in the early days such as Denji's bout versus the Bat Devil, he showcased his inhumane speed, as he was able to react to a supersonic blast by putting his arms in front of his face to brace for impact. This means that his reaction speed was equal to 768 miles per hour. However, that was just the beginning of it. In his battle against the gun fiend, Aki, Denji saved the life of a nearby citizen by reacting and traveling faster than a bullet. If we presume that the bullets fired by the gun fiend are more than just your average, then we can calculate the speed of the world's fastest bullets and start from there to understand how fast Denji went. The fastest bullets can reach speeds of around 2600 feet per second. That is more than 1800 miles per hour and more than twice the speed of sound to put it into perspective. Yet, Denji was even able to avoid the gun fiend shot from point blank range, whilst making sure Power and Miyawi also dodged safely. And if you think that sounds crazy. Way back as early as chapter 26 showcases that Denji's speed was phenomenal when he landed an attack on two of the Katana Devil's allies before they could even react, meaning he traveled faster than the human eye can keep up with. For example, in the case of a football being invincible to the human eye, it would need to cross 70 meters in 1 250th of a second. That's around 38,000 miles per hour. This means Denji was moving at Mach 50. We then move on to Denji's durability. And boy, will you be surprised. Although he may just look like a scrawny teenage kid, he actually has some of the most insane durability feats in the entire series. In fact, have you ever noticed that every fight Denji has, it usually ends up in him getting absolutely destroyed, yet he still wins? Why? Well, that's all thanks to what I'm about to tell you. Even during some of his earliest fights, such as his first big devil fight against the Bat Devil, he survives being sent through an entire block of buildings by a sonic boom attack. A sonic boom is an impulsive noise similar to thunder. It is caused by an object moving faster than sound around 767 miles per hour. To tank such attacks, his eardrums should have bursted and be completely destroyed. However, in reality, nothing happened to Denji. He immediately immediately stands back up and revs his engine ready to go again, suffering just a few broken fingers. But this is actually nothing compared to what the Katana Man did to him. In chapter 26, Denji is straight up cut in half, yet the next time we see him a few chapters later, he's back in tip top condition like nothing ever happened thanks to his insane regeneration ladies and gentlemen. And that's just the beginning of it all. During his fight against Santa Claus in chapter 67, straight after returning from hell, Bruh. Denji is sent crashing through a minimum of 13 concrete floors which only gets as much as a single owl out of him before he's ready to charge headfirst into battle once again. And whilst we're on the topic of his fight against Santa Claus, he even survived being set on fire throughout the time he spent battling dark Santa Claus. During this, a stray car crashes into him, causing an explosion with Denji in the epic center of it all. Yet, my guy shakes it off and is back to business. All because he wants to touch them boobs and have Makima. Women and that stuff is the biggest motivation, isn't it? So now, a large-scale truck bomb typically contains 10,000 pounds or more of TNT equivalent, depending on the size and capacity of the vehicle used, which proves explosions don't do shit, as we can scale Denji even higher by using his battles against, you know, the literal bomb devil, where he had his arm blown off and he felt zero pain from it. Reza even hits him with four consecutive bombs that send him through a crumbling building. He gets launched into the sky, but even then she isn't done, as she transforms her leg into a missile that explodes three more times, sending Denji plummeting down to the ground in chapter 48. If you 
you consider the smallest of missiles like the Davy Crockett M28, which existed in the time of 1997, which Chainsaw Man's story is set in, it means Denji tanked a whopping 20 kilotons of TNT. In pounds, that's around 440,000. And he still didn't die. Even following that, after he takes one of Reese's bombs completely head on, knocking him clean out, leaving just his head and torso left, all it takes is a drop of blood to turn him back to normal in a display of regeneration so impressive that Angel himself states how any ordinary devil would be dead. So if you can't send him flying into buildings or set him on fire, perhaps a battle of stamina is the play? Well, that's actually even worse. Thanks to Chainsaw Man's way of fighting being full on chainsawing out, blood is pretty common. And Denji can use this to his advantage, as by constantly drinking the blood of his enemy, he can essentially recycle it, allowing him to fight for, well, in theory, forever. In fact, during his battle with the Eternity Devil, he fought for three days straight without stopping, forcing the Eternity Devil to actually give up. Like imagine being able to fight for so long without fail that the literal amalgamation of Eternity said, I've had enough. Huh? Okay, so you might be thinking, if you can't win a long drawn out battle, then you have to end this fast. What better way than using a gun? During his battle with Aki, Denji sustained an insane amount of damage, such as taking a gunshot to his torso, resulting in his intestines hanging out. Yeah he is still standing. On top of this, he takes the impact of a direct shot from the Gunfiend's head weapon. This resulted in Denji flying through the city before coming to a stop, only to find he was missing both his legs and an arm. But he still lived, and after drinking some blood from the nearby civilians, he was up again to continue. This blast was so powerful that it destroyed and erased anything in its vicinity and projection. Its attack is like a nuclear bomb. But the thing is, is everything I've mentioned so far is minuscule compared to what I'm about to reveal as we discuss his final transformation called the Chainsaw Devil. As the Chainsaw Devil is nigh on immortal. Decapitate him, curse him, drown him, it doesn't matter. As long as somebody is there to pull his chainsaw cord, he will always come back to life as if nothing happened. Harrison, please reveal even better feats where we prove this guy can react to light speed. Now, if you thought Denji was busted before, then just you wait. Because after his full transformation into Chainsaw Man, he is even more broken. In this form, Denji's body is taken over by Pachita's consciousness who tries to fulfill Denji's goals in his full Chainsaw Devil form. Now, the Chainsaw Devil's most infamous power, the one that makes him the devil that devils fear the most, is his ability to erase their physical existence whilst also eradicating the name that they represent from public consciousness. This means that the devil cannot reincarnate and is erased from existence. For example, Kishibe was unaware of historical events like these and even nuclear weapons, proving that the Chainsaw Devil at some point consumed their respective devils. The way that devils grow stronger in Chainsaw Man is based on the fear humans have for their namesake representative. For example, if we're all scared of pencils, the pencil devil is going to be pretty damn strong. Luckily, he's not. But what this does mean is that these three devils in particular would be incredibly powerful as they embody some of humanity's greatest atrocities. Yet Pachita beat them. And so just to put into perspective just how ridiculous this feat is, we know that in World War II, 40 to 50 million people died, which would have spawned an immensely powerful fear that creates a devil. Now we have the war devil in part two who would have been overpowered at that point in time but there would also be other fears such as these on your screen right now. For example, in the current timeline, the Gun Devil can kill 1.2 million people in the span of 5 minutes. But comparing this number to what happened in the war makes it look tiny. Yet, even still, Pachita managed to defeat them all on his own. This one-of-a-kind ability gave him the title of the Hero of Hell. Now, bear in mind what I said, okay? The devil that devils fear the most, meaning Pachita 
Vader is the strongest devil in all existence, at least during his time. Like, you remember that Katana bloke that we mentioned earlier? Yeah, the one that cut Denji in half? Well, he got the humbling he so desperately deserved at the hands of the Chainsaw Devil. He was instantaneously no diffed as if nothing ever happened. Whilst back in his hybrid form, Denji had a pretty tough time. Pachita also managed to chop up the Spear Devil, Whip Devil, Flamethrower Devil, and Makima by using the chains from his chainsaws for an increased attack range, unlocking a new ability. He wrapped them around each person and yanked them up into the air with them, chopping them up. None of these devils could even lay a scratch on him. In chapter 86, we see Pachita send Quan Chi, the crossbow fiend, and one of the most renowned assassins from around the world through five huge buildings with a single kick flying through the air. The average adult human can kick with 1,000 pounds of force. A force of a kick is calculated by using the formula force equals mass times acceleration. This means his strength alone is scaling at 200,000 pounds of force to be able to kick someone that far. But this is isn't even taken into account that all five buildings were destroyed instantly. This means the acceleration needs to be 25,000 meters per second squared. Assuming a mass of 70 kg for Quan Chi, we are at a force of 1,750,000 newtons, which is 393,416 pounds of force. Now maybe you're thinking that number sounds low, but given the fact that it was done instantly within a small space to generate that much energy, it automatically puts the chainsaw devil at godly levels of power as due to the physics it all depends on the distance and power being generated. But even this is nothing compared to what is next, as the chainsaw devil tears his heart out and literally throws it back to earth. His heart undergoes the speed of an asteroid, which would slam into Earth at an average velocity of 18 kilometers a second. Asteroids with a diameter of 7 meters enter the atmosphere about every 5 years with as much kinetic energy as the atomic bomb dropped on Hiroshima, approximately 16 kilotons of TNT. But the air burst is reduced to just 5 kilotons. Now, Denji's heart is not 7 meters, but if it did hit Earth, instead of recovering it would most definitely cause a huge explosion enough to do some significant damage. Furthermore, he single-handedly fought off a horde of devils in hell after killing the hell devil itself, the very devil that Kishibe and the anti-Makima squad made a contract with to kill her. In fact, Pichita was so busted that he actually forcefully crossed the dimensions by escaping out of hell, something that was thought to be impossible. Now, even if the hell devil couldn't complete his job of killing Makima, it it's fine, because Pachita actually managed to land 26 recorded kills on Makima, more than anybody else. In fact, Makima herself admitted from the very beginning of this fight that it was unwinnable for her. We now move on to speed, where the Chainsaw Devil can now travel at speeds faster than 1000 Mach, and you're probably wondering, APT, where on earth did you get this number from? Well, this can be proven quite easily with my degree in anime bullshit science. And to do that, we have to start with the minimum speed we have witnessed Pachita achieve in this form. At 318.25, the Gun Devil continued his assault after a brief pause, firing at Makiba, who had seen him 500 kilometers away moments prior. One second later, the bullet kills Makima by traveling the given distance in exactly one second, or Mach 1457, corresponding to about 1.1 million miles per hour. However, we see at the 26th second of the 18th minute, it states that Makima prepared for ability activation, meaning Makima reacted in time to activate her power to counter the gun devil, making her reactions equal to Mach 1457. From this outcome, we can deduce that the Chainsaw Devil has reaction speeds just as fast because he was able to catch and damage Makima with ease, although we must take into account 
to that. Yes, she did want to die on purpose, but still, we have to take these speeds into consideration to see what we're dealing with. However, to scale Pachita even further than this, we can use his light speed reactions to save Kobani. Oh yes, you heard that right. This devil is light speed. I'm fast as fuck, boy! This is evident through Makima's attempt to kill Kobani with a spear made of light through another dimension. We know it's light because of the artwork and the reaction on Kobani's face with the light reflected upon it. But he saves Kobani in time to tank the damage despite losing his strength rapidly at the time. Which means that Denji's reactions and travel speed is the speed of light, aka Mac 874,000. And 30. Do you guys understand how fast that is? These speeds would further explain how the Chainsaw Devil is able to utterly destroy buildings and is depicted as though he's flying due to the sheer force that he is producing. For instance, when he managed to avoid a point blank range attack from the fiends going from a stationary position to creating an explosive amount of force capable of destroying a part of a building in a split second, kicking one of the fiends across the city before the other devils even moved an inch, meaning that Pachita traveling roughly 15 miles of the city in a second. Which means that Pachita went from 0 to 54,000 miles per hour, aka Mach 70, in just the blink of an eye thus explaining the explosive impact he left behind just from his sheer movement. Now moving on, when it comes to Denji's defense and durability compared to before, there is one trick he learned that quite literally saved the world. And no, I'm not even kidding. In chapter 88, we saw him use a never before seen ability, where after being sent hurtling into outer space by a combination of multiple fiend attacks and four of Makima's bangs, Chainsaw Man rips out his own heart and throws it back into Earth's atmosphere. Now we explained earlier how crazy this is, but in terms of defense, for him to survive, it is ridiculous. Usually, even stony and hard asteroids under a metre in size would explode in the upper atmosphere and most of all of the solids are vaporised. The human body would completely burn away and disperse in the upper atmosphere as gas and ash. Astronauts have to wear suits which are designed to withstand the heat that would be produced by the insane speed of the gravitational pull to then reach terminal velocity. However, even then you wouldn't survive. You would be moving at over 25,000 thousand miles per hour relative to the atmosphere, meaning at least Mach 33, being 33 times faster than the speed of sound. Once you hit the atmosphere, you would start heating up rapidly. A spacesuit can protect you from direct sunlight and temperatures hot enough to cook you alive, but the air you are plowing past will soon heat to around 3000 Fahrenheit. The force of declaration can be seven or more times greater than the force of gravity. You will soon reach declaration forces is around 8 Gs. You will push past the hypersonic shockwave caused by your re-entry, which mind you is one of only several forces that will tear your body to pieces. Yet Pachita's heart, instead of vaporizing, withstands the pressure and proceeds to regenerate a brand new 100% healthy body from its own heart faster than it can burn up, as well as make it back down to the ground with no issue whatsoever. He just goes straight back to his date with Cobbin. Now, why did this trick save the world? World, you may ask? Well, in chapter 96, Denji uses this ability he learned to trick Makima once and for all. Q level was is dumb high. During their final battle in the graveyard, Denji tore off part of his heart and created a clone of Chainsaw Man for Makima to fight without her knowing. So once she had killed that Chainsaw Man and thought she had succeeded in her goal, Denji was able to step up and finish her off whilst her guard was down, thanks to this one-of-a-kind defense mechanism that Pachita has. The scariest part about all of this is that Chainsaw Man wasn't even at full power. In fact, the more the fight dragged on, the weaker he became. Rather than being feared as a devil, he was cheered on as a celebrity by the people, which by the laws of Chainsaw Man which we mentioned earlier, makes the devil weaker as they draw their power from the fear humans have for them, meaning we are yet to see the full power of the Chainsaw Devil. In conclusion, even in Pachita's own nerfed state, he still stands as the strongest devil in the entire series, but now he must face the War Devil in part 2 whilst being a celebrity, which means you should hit the notification bell so that you don't miss out. And if this wasn't enough peak fiction for you, then you can watch this video on your screen right now about Denji's five girlfriends. Yeah, five. My guy's a complete chat.